Is it possible to resurface a brake disc or rotor using a wood lathe? One way to find out. The story here is pretty simple. My car needed new brake pads and the mechanic told me they always replace the discs too. This is just standard practice. Uh, that's the brake rotors for my friends in USA and Canada. Apparently, if you don't change them at the same time, you can get uneven wear, squeaks, or just bad braking performance. But I just couldn't get past how wasteful that seemed. Replacing perfectly functional metal discs just because the surface isn't smooth feels a little bit like buying a new knife just because yours isn't sharp anymore. This is a bit of an experiment, so if you see a better way that I could have tackled this, please do let me know down in the comments. I'm figuring this out as I go throughout this video, and I'd love to hear how you would approach it. Resurfacing is a thing, but it's usually expensive and only offered for high-end cars where the discs or rotors themselves cost a fortune. Some of the DIY methods that I came across were creative, let's say, and they all relied on the car being jacked up in the air, running in gear whilst you're underneath, working on the spinning discs. And honestly, I wasn't too keen on any of that. But I do have a wood lathe, it spins things. If I wanted them to be resurfaced evenly, I needed them to be spun, so I figured, let's see what would happen if I tried it myself with some less sophisticated tools. Hey. So the first thing I'm gonna try to get this lip off is a flap disc sander on the angle grinder. This is an 80 grit wheel. And first of all, I think I'm just gonna go like very light touch, just taking the, the rust off and just see if I can get this, this lip off the edge. If it's not strong enough, I've got a 40 grit and I've also got a, oh, I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. We'll try this first. Right, I've got ears on, face on, gloves on. Let's go. I think I have to give this a bit of a spin to get it going. Yeah. Come on, baby! If you're enjoying this video so far, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a video. Right, change of plan. I've just found this grinding disc in my box of tricks and I think I'm gonna use this to get the majority of this lip off and I'm gonna use the flat discs to finish the main surface when I get there. I was very cautious not to remove too much metal at this point, so I tried two different things. One was to not have the angle grinder turned on and let the turning motion of the brake disc do the work. And the other one was to have the angle grinder turned on and spin the lathe by hand. This second method was the most aggressive and removed the material quicker. All right, at this point, I've got this lip off. The surface has some very minor sort of grooves from, from the wear of the brake pad and I'd like to get those flat if I can. So I'm gonna to switch to wet and dry paper. This is 120 grit on a block of wood to give it a nice flat side. And I'm just gonna hold it on to take off the high, the high spots and we'll see how that goes. The wet and dry paper wasn't really that effective. I think mainly because it was not intended for metal grinding. It was just some spare that I had in my toolbox. I did this a minute ago with the with the angle grinder. I just accidentally touched it. So I think at the, at the least I'm going to have to try and get that out because that's just going to lead to uneven wear in the future. And that one there. So let's go back on the flap disc sander and see how we go. Back on an 80. That's looking all right. Not too shabby at all. Still got that little line. Sweet. All right, uh, do we go 40? Do we up the grit? Yeah. Let's go a bit more aggressive. Come on, baby. At this point, I'm trying to bring everything down to the lowest point, which is this grooved line you can see just here. After doing this side, it was the same again on the other side. And something I was really pleased with here is just how smooth this thing is running on the lathe. Oh yeah. 
So at this point now, it was repeating the process that I'd figured out first time around, which was a grinding disc on the inner and outer ridges, giving it a once over with 40 grit to smooth down the surface, finish up with an 80 grit, and checking with straight edges to make sure that there's no high or low points as I went. This part was a little bit unsettling because the chuck came loose and the only reason I can think as to what happened is that the angle grinder started spinning the brake disc faster than the lathe was turning it, which started to unscrew the chuck from the motor. But I luckily caught it right at the point it happened, so I'm pleased that I stopped, assessed and put it right before carrying on. So this is the final result. I know it's not factory finish. I know it's not the result you'd get from a brand new disc or skimming it on a proper metal working lathe. But for me, if it gets a bit more life out of this part, then I call that one a win. So let me know what you think. What could I have done better? What could I have done differently? Would you have a go yourself? Let me know down in the comments. This was an experiment, so I am eager to know what everyone thinks about it. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you in the next one. I've got to do it all again on the on the other one, so.